Okay, for this example, we need to solve a normal system. Okay, we need to solve the normal system by using least square solution. Okay, so before we proceed with the question, we look at on the uh, linear system that we have here. Okay, so first of all, we need to convert. We need to convert this uh, linear system into a matrix form. Okay, where we have the coefficient and then the variables x and y and then equal to the constant so we can uh, denote the, the coefficient to be a and the, the constant part to be matrix b Okay, for the first question, uh, show that the system is inconsistent and state its associate normal system. Okay, so before we proceed, you, we need to reduce the matrix. Okay, so this matrix, uh, we make it in the uh, augmented form. Okay, so we solve the system by using elementary row operation. Right, so this is the list of steps. And at the end, you will find out that uh, this is your metric. Right? So we can see that here we have a false statement. Okay, so when we are dealing with a false statement, so means that the system is inconsistent. Right, so now we have shown that. So it is shown that. Right, so it is shown that the system is inconsistent by having a false statement after we are reducing the system of linear equation. Okay, and then state its associated normal system. So the associated normal system is a transpose a multiply with x equal to a transpose b right so we need to find each of these element so we find the a transpose multiply with a so a transpose we get from the uh, original matrix so you need to do matrix multiplication Okay, and then for A transpose B, right, so the same process, you need to do matrix multiplication, but now uh, with B. Right. Then we plot, we plot in what we have. And then multiply with x, so the transpose is 16. Right. So this is the uh, associated uh, normal system. Okay, for B, in order to verify that the uh, both system has unique least square solution, right? So uh, we look at on the determinant of A transpose A. So we have 29. So since the determinant of A transpose A is equal, 20, equal to 29, which is not equal to 0. So therefore, we can say that the above system has a unique least square solution. Right. So due to the value of determinant. 
Okay, so for C, so after you have proved that uh, the system has unique least square solution, then that is where we need to find the least square solution for the system. Right? So in order to find the least square solution for the system, so we use uh, x equal to a transpose a inverse a transpose b. So we need to find the a transpose a a, a transpose a inverse by right, inverse. A transpose B is equal to 16 and 9. Right. So X is right. So this is where we get right. So this is the value of X. Okay, then in, in order to find the error vector, so the uh, error vector and magnitude. So here we have two terms that you need to find the error vector and its magnitude. So in order to find the error vector, so we use E equal to B minus EX. Right? So you take out the coefficient minus the original matrix A okay and with the X that we have uh, we have calculated in C right So this is the error vector. Okay, and how to find the magnitude of the error vector? So the magnitude will be the square of each component. You find the summation of a uh, square of each component. And then you we find the square root for all, right? Square root for this summation. Then get zero point seven four two seven eight one. So that is the um, error vector and the magnitude. Okay. So bear in mind. Uh, the name is error vector so your answer should be in a vector form okay when we talk about magnitude so it represents the length right or the size so it should be a value 